Hey guys, today I get to show you just how awful I was at hitting open nets. Yay! Okay, but for real, I think this is the lowest conversion rate on open nets I've ever had in years in 1v1. But we're jumping back into the ranked grind and finally playing some ones to get into Supersonic Legend. If you're following along with my Road to Supersonic Legend series where I discuss tips and tricks and how to master the basics, those should go hand in hand with some of the stuff I discuss in this video. Let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Alright, before we jump into the 1v1 games, I'd just like to announce that the new merch is finally live on my merch store. Expect more to come soon too, like backpacks and possibly wallets. I'm definitely going to be grabbing one of each of the new designs myself. The link for the store is in the description. Now let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, we got Pluto as our first opponent. It's a little bit lower ranked, not too much, 30 points. Not sure if uh, that matters too much as far as like getting points enough for Supersonic Legend, but we'll see what happens here. Be able to bump him here. Yeah, so I saw him challenge, and right when you see him jump up like that, you can just start targeting him. Since you know the the, the direction of the ball. And uh, you can sort of just get an air dribble set up. I see he's trying to do a quick kickoff. Right here, I'm just gonna focus on getting the boost pad. He's focusing on stealing the boost for me, which is fine. I'm gonna stay with 12 here. Close. Let's see what he does. He gave me another boost pad here too. So now I have the freedom to get some pads. It's a good dunk. That's pretty good. I tried to like get the block on the last touch. I think I could have probably blocked that a little better. But he got a good setup. Me leaving for boost there gave him way too much room to uh, play with. Made him fake out for the boost. Fine. So right here I can actually probably turn. He probably doesn't expect it. Right here is an awkward spot. Force him in. Get the boost. So he's pretty low. He might uh, try to make a shot immediately or something. I don't really care if he has the ball position here because he's very low. So all I have to do is just make a good save. Keep to the sidewall here. I kind of gave it back to him, but there we go. That's 20 boosts. I can work with this. Pop it over. He's in an awkward spot. Now I get the boost possession. It's a good play to make. It's a pretty tough shot to make on target, but we did get it. Uh, I could have probably turned a little bit wider there. We'll just make sure it's consistent. Make sure we get a good shot on target. And uh, if he makes the save, we'll still have pressure because he has to uh, recover off his hit as well. Let's get a good solid hit on, t on target. And there we go. It's a nice little drift off that off that bounce on the sidewall. Gave us the shot opportunity. It's good to time your, uh, your drifts into that sidewall there. Make sure I get rushed that one there. He could have shot that immediately, which is pretty dangerous. I don't think he expected me to go right away, so that's why I did that. That should be on target as well, I think. Yeah. So he he uh, let me do too much in the corner there. He made a bad touch that popped the ball up, so all I did to do was follow up the wall and then make a shot on target. And uh, he's got to make sure he covers that option. So he's rushing for the boost. I'll just take the ball then. And I just make sure I stay on this. Oh, I missed it. It's unfortunate. Definitely outplayed him there. I just uh, didn't get that final shot on that I wanted. Should be on target here. He gave way too much room off that dribble. He kind of chipped it in midfield, and then I just chipped it around him. Right there when he turned it. He has to stay in front. And I think he was too low boost to do so. So I just popped it around. And there we go. So we'll do a full boost here. It's not much, but he also missed the boost. So now he's in an awkward spot. Probably shouldn't have chipped it like that. You can get a lot of space here. That boost did spawn in time, though. He's not going to expect the immediate rush, but he did shoot it. It's a bit of a high pop, though. I could try to get back. Ooh. <laughs> it 
If I expected him not to shoot that right away or not to go up like that, I probably would have uh, made it back. But I, I kind of stalled a little bit because I just expected that to be in when he flipped it over my head. But it, it hit the perfect part of that curve. I think it awkward enough that I shoot it far right post. And he has to make a good save. I can also capture that boost in the corner too if, uh, if he doesn't make a good save. So I put him under a lot of pressure right at the beginning. I should, probably should not have went for that, but he's going to be low too. It's a good boost steal. He should be pressing here since he's got all the boosts. You have one pad here, another pad here. I'm going to pop it over. I think it's sure it stays close. Pop over his head. That was a bad touch because he could probably uh, take possession. Him dribbling it back here is not good because it gives me enough space to grab 55 boost. And uh, not a quick enough dribble to flick it over my head. Gives me the chance to dunk him and we uh, end up getting a 7th goal and he does forfeit. So not a bad first match here. Basically just taking control where we can and taking shots and pressuring and then grabbing some boost. So we do get 9 points here. I, was, I wasn't sure because he was lower than me if we were going to get a lot of points. But we do promote up to... No, it's the same thing. <laughs> I'm not sure. That was happening in the other video where it says promoting and it says like Division 3. Uh, or like I was in Supersonic Legend. It says like 190 out of 10 games played. Um, but yeah, we're still we're still Division 3. Uh, hopefully we can get enough points to move up into Division 4. And hopefully close to Supersonic Legend by the end of this video. Alright, so we get Khalil. Who's uh, 1321. So it's a little bit higher. A little bit higher than the last guy by about 20 something odd points. Good kickoff. I'm gonna fake that. So it does give me the boost. He got an alpha boost. Interesting. There we go. Make an awkward save here. He does go for the shot here. Should really get the boost here as well. Get the boost steal. Make sure he doesn't demo me here. We got good pressure. It's a good shot too. He pinched it off the sidewall. Um, I had the pressure there. I probably should have just 50-50 in the corner and popped it around. But he got a good pinch around the corner. There we go. It bumps back to the, the boost, which is perfect. Should be a shot on target here. He ended up pushing up way too hard there. And I can just shoot that immediately. Um, he needs to make sure he doesn't push in that corner if he wants to uh, keep the pressure. Uh, especially when I have control like that. Should be a shot on target here. There we go. Just use a little bit of my boost to get around the ball. Uh, you gotta make sure you hit that corner of your car. I talked about this in the Road to Supersonic Legend series that I'm doing. Uh, where the best contact is on the car. And uh, that is definitely something to think about. Oh, it's not a good kickoff. I'll make sure I don't talk too much on kickoffs. Because I always like have to focus really, really hard on where the 50-50 is going to go. Or else that'll happen. It's a decent kickoff. Oh, that's a good flick. It looked like he was going to fake it. He kind of dropped it a little bit and then did the last flick. That's a really good fake to make because it's hard to read whether it's going to go uh, high or low. So I had to wait there for a second. This is a decent play. He's going to probably pop it here. So I do bump him off. This could work in our favor here. Oh, he does get the bump though. And the finish. So it's a good play. Um, I definitely could have played that a little bit better. I, although the bump the bump was good just because I got in front of him. I should have just slowed down and let him try to chase the ball down. That would have been better for us. Alright, we do take those though. Unless I miss, of course. That's really good. That was on me. I should have definitely scored that. It was definitely open. He likes to do that a lot where he chips it around and stays on the ball pressure a lot. Should be able to stay with this. It's pretty far. He can't score that or uh, save it. Uh, get a nice scoop to the top right corner. Just to make it harder on myself because I could have just scored the open net off the kickoff for sure. I do bump him off, but he can probably take my boost here. So I need to be a little, a little bit careful. Oh, it's a good chip too. 
was playing really, really fast in those corners. Be a little bit careful. Could have just looped wider to net there, and then uh, not been under pressure. Let's see if I can score this open net though. <laughs> no, I can't. Definitely should have just went wider on the ball like I said last time. So this guy's making me play outplay myself a little bit, which is uh, not good. He's gonna do the same thing again where he goes really close. I should be able to flick this at least to a position where he can't. Oh, what a good save. All right, that's a bad touch from him. Yeah, that's a really bad touch from him in there too as well. I'm definitely throwing a little bit. I shouldn't shouldn't be missing these open nets off the kickoffs. Uh, they're being gifted to me and I'm just not closing on them. So uh, definitely in the future if I can, you know, make a better shot off that kickoff. I'm gonna bump him here. Hopefully the boost spawns. He might wait for that boost. He doesn't wait for the boost, and so now he's very low in front of it. That's a good shot, too. Really good placement. I'm not really respecting this guy enough, because he's making really, really good shots here and there, and I'm just uh, not positioning well enough for it. It's definitely on me. Obviously, since it's a 1v1. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I can definitely bring this back, though. There we go. Nice. Yeah, duh, definitely on me though. I ne definitely need to be uh, respecting his shots a little more. He's changing up his kickoff quite a bit. Should we get this boost from him? Oh, and he tried to challenge early, so that was really, really uh, risky by him. Uh, I took the control off that mid boost and then wrapped it around, and he tried to stay at pressure, which is a little bit dangerous to do. But hey, we can uh, we can bring this back now after kind of throwing a little bit. So boost this boost pad first. It's not great, but I do get possession off the boost. And I pop it around him here too. Make sure to pop him off the ball here too. It's decent. We get the boost. And the pressure. And uh, we end up shooting off target, which throws him off a little bit. Because he's trying to predict my shot towards the net. So I end up just popping it off the... Uh, the sidewall instead and that gives me the extra positioning to uh, take the play around the, the player who's defending. Ooh, that's a good shot. Definitely could have uh, probably pinched that off the sidewall there. That, that kickoff was interesting though because it looked like he was going super fast then went slower. Throwing me off a little bit. Hey, we take those though. Unless I miss again. That's really good. We get the boost though. Pop it off towards the net. So he has to defend. He's going to flick it away, which is fine. What's happening to my controller? It's really weird. I keep doing that. It's on target, but I definitely could have shot that. I'm not sure, sure what's going on. Every time that, like, I'm jumping for those, those touches. This could be open here. Oh, he almost made it back. Yeah, I keep like miss jumping. I'm not sure what's going on, but we're still up a goal. We just gotta hold it here. Uh, the 47 seconds, 44 seconds. Just gotta smarten up a little bit. That's three missed open nets. That's crazy. Should be far enough. He pushed up way too much there, and we finally get an air dribble over him. Uh, yeah, very strange game. I, I don't know what's going on with me, but hey, it happens. You know, you make mistakes. Hit that way too hard. And then challenge way too hard there. Make him have to push up the wall. We have 19 seconds left. Just gonna stop a play here. It's a good play. He's gonna probably bump me or something. Oh, he didn't go. Wow. So I expected him to just barrel into that because it was a pretty much an open hit for me and I tried to 50-50 him. I'm not even sure why I did that. Brain is just not working for me today. There we go. So that's a bit of a weird game, but uh, <laughs> definitely should have scored some of the open nets there. Uh, yeah, that was on me.
But we'll get into the next game. Hopefully we can... Uh, oh, there's a promotion again. Vision 4, though. I'm not exactly sure what the threshold is for Super Sonic Legend, but hopefully we can get it in this video. That'd be great. So we get Top Cheese. He's actually a really good 1v1 player. He's actually a, f a bit of points ahead of me by 9 points here. So hopefully we can get a win here and, and hopefully make Super Sonic Legend. I'm not sure what the rank is. Sorry, I'll lead it back here. That wasn't a great play. He was in a good position to block all the angles. And uh, we'll just uh, stay close here and see what he does. It's all right. So right here, I'm just gonna stay possession, keep possession. Make sure I pop it across, get the boost. Surprised he challenged that, but we should be able to get boost possession here. There we go. It's around him. Get the boost possession again. Get that out in an awkward spot so I can just challenge immediately. And I think that's on target here. So, oh no, almost, almost. Just keep pressure. We got a bit of a play here. Oh, I tried to bump him over the ball as well, but he ended up popping it pretty early. So gotta be aware of those uh, early air dribbles uh, off of his uh, his car carries whenever he's like carrying the ball like that. There we go. Open net. Take those. So he spent like a, a good minute there pressuring him. Uh, not making the greatest shot because I didn't make a good bounce dribble. It's always good to make sure you get a really solid bounce dribble going. Get the boost from him. He might pressure. Okay, he backed off. So I'm going to loop this mid first. This could be an awkward bounce. So I'm going to stay with this. Bounce off the backboard and then shoot it here. He almost blocked it too. Gave him a lot of time to get back because that, that bounce went super high over the net. He tried to go wide on that, but make sure to jump on the ball first. That way we can uh, keep the ball level against the the, the net here. I thought he was gonna go in infield for the the def defensive shot, so I went around him, and then he still got it. Pop it around. He might get the boost from me. Just fine. Not a great great touch first. So here's the. Uh, the threatening spots I was talking about before. Try to go for the net. It's pretty, it's pretty dumb of me though, because that's pretty risky. I, I was up a goal, so I don't really need to force that. I think there was definitely an avenue to score that. It's just not worth uh, the risk, especially with low boost there. I could have probably got around the ball a little more. But it takes a lot of mechanics, and it's not really worth risking being up a goal. It's technically a two goal, two goal miss there. So we'll go around him here. Bring it back midfield. Bump him out a little bit. So he does get back, but it's not really that threatening. Oh, he missed. Trying to fake this a little bit, so it goes behind him a little bit. Now we can stay close to the ball here. Almost. It's a bit of a over overcommit as, as well. Once again, he might have missed the net though. Oh, he's got it. So just the story of today has been open net misses and overcommitment for sure. Uh, definitely need to work on that if I want to be, you know, pushing up the ranks in one v one, but. Not a big deal. Should be far enough. He can't reach it. He was way too out of position there. I can just chip it around. Those are really good shots to make when he's in a position that he can't really handle all the, the, the angles. Let's see what he does here. He might turn immediately. Not a great... Great position to be making. So it does go immediately. 
kind of expected him to do the same thing he did that one time. But that's a bit of a, a chess move, you know? You gotta, you gotta be kind of predicting what they're gonna do. It's a good play to get the boost. It's a good 50 50 too, and it should be an open net. That was a good demo. So he overcommits with the flick. Should give me the time to get the boost and the ball here. See if he goes for the, the air dribble or the flick uh, defense, which he does. And that's why I'm just going to flick it over his head before he jumps at me. We have 40 seconds left. They're really solid players today. I just need to uh, make sure I am staying level with the, the ball. So I'm just uh, kind of all over the place. It's a good, good save. Hopefully I can get back here. Should be able to. I expected him to dive there. I don't want to get demoed here. He has one last opportunity. I got to make sure I just play this smart. Which I did not, but he also threw it pretty far. It's going to be hard for him to get around, and we do get the win, and hopefully that is enough to make Super Sonic Legend. I'm not sure what the points are. I don't know if it's 1350, but let's see. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, well, he is Super Sonic Legend, so I don't know if the threshold is, like, right around that point, but we we are a point above where he's Super Sonic Legend, and he didn't demote yet, so I think we're quite close. I think in the next episode, we'll definitely make it and try to hold our ground there, but... Hope you enjoyed all the, the open net misses and a bit of inconsistencies, but hey, you know, that's what 1v1 is for. It's really good to practice your uh, your inconsistencies and make sure you, you stay solid with your gameplay. Because obviously I played 1v1 on, on the Twitch stream the other day to get to get up to Grand Champion 3, Division 3. Uh, but uh, that was the last time I've played and it's been a while since then. So I just, I do like to revisit 1v1 here and there just to get back into uh, the swing of things. But hope you guys enjoyed me discussing like how to play the how to play or what i'm doing and uh you know how to get better at 1v1 just don't miss forehead <laughs> but until next time have a good one guys and we'll catch you guys in the next one